with your thoughts. You must keep the balance of your thoughts. Think of money. Greetings, Facebook family. Greetings, Facebook family. This is Queen Neat. And I tell you, I have had such a wonderful, wonderful experience spending time with the family down in Jacksonville. Whoo, they put me up on Rebalt River. I had never, ever been to Rebalt River before. And I tell you, it was so beautiful. And I had not had an opportunity. I have been on the go ever since the 4th of July. And I saw some things on the 4th of July family. Uh, when in Iyama's, uh Nikisha, I saw some things posted on the 4th of July. And as you know, the 4th of July is when we started our rituals retreat with my students and my students were here with me until Monday and then life happened <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to make this video before I left to go to Jacksonville but it would be remiss of me as the queen Iamatep Trifica it would be remiss of me to see a challenge and not say anything about it so let me put this here because see I'm in Georgia and we're hands-free now and so I want to be real real clear with everybody so that we are not disrespectful as a people now you have never there is no video that you have ever heard Queen Neat dissing the military Thank you, beloved. Thank you, Triplica. You will never, ever hear Queen Neat dissing the military. You will also never, ever hear Queen Neat telling you to send your sons and daughters that look like me to the military either. So make sure we're completely clear. But I want to address the things that I saw on the 4th of July posted by the conscious community so that you understand sometimes as conscious brothers and sisters, we actually cut off our nose to spite our face. We are so extremely conscious. We're so extremely conscious. We know so very, very much. And there is a scripture in the Bible that says, much learning has made you mad. And so I want to just really have a real honest discussion about what I saw. And what I saw was several brothers, it was more brothers than sisters, and what the sisters had done they just reposted what they saw. And so it essentially said that if you were African and you were in the military, that you should go kill yourself because you were a traitor. And it bothered me when I first saw it, but I said, well, maybe that brother is ignorant. And then there were other things that talked about how you couldn't be conscious and in the military. And so let me address that as a person who comes from a military family. When in the honest, beloved, a person that comes from military on both sides, my grandfather, who is my father's father, not only was in the Navy, but he also coached for the United States Navy. And then my grandfather, who is my mother's father, and almost every one of his brothers were in the U.S. Army. So let me just help you understand. No, I am not telling you so none of you can go and lie on Queen Neat. Imhotep uh, Tamika, I'm not telling you to send your children to the military. 
What I'm telling you is that for you to disrespect any service member is beneath you as an African. Do I agree with this war that we've been in for almost 20 years? Hell no. But am I so extremely grateful and appreciative to every veteran, to every active duty military person that exists on the planet? I don't care what their religious affiliation is. I don't care if they're gay. I don't care if they're straight. I don't care if they're black. I don't care if they're white. Let me help you understand. They are protecting your life. Please understand that it is not a game. You see, I do, and some of my students do things behind the scenes concerning the military. We send boxes out. That's a part of being a sacred medicine woman. We send care packages out to the military. Many of my students that have already graduated and the ladies that will be graduating in October, that is a part of what we do as sacred medicine women. We help to heal those that are protecting and defending our country. That's what we do. We don't put our mouths on them. Because let me help you understand. If all of the conscious brothers in the military say, I'm not going to be there. Who do you think is going to be running the military? It's going to be nothing but the Klan. Just like if all of the brothers decide that they're not going to be state troopers. And that they are not going to be um, police officers. Then... It is an issue because then there is nothing stopping them from just shooting our sons and daughters easily. Imagine if the whole military was nothing but Klansmen. So you don't understand that many of the people that we get supplies to and that we take care of are the people that help with the National Guard whenever anything happens here locally. You don't seem to understand as you diss those brothers that if a flood comes, if some more levees break, it's going to be the National Guard who comes to help you first. And so if everybody conscious leaves and we have nothing but the clan there, who do you think is going to be left short like a midget? So I understand the sister saying that it's a slippery slope. It is a slippery slope, but for those who are in there now, who are making the decision to put their lives on the line, I support you. I thank you on behalf of the conscious community for your service. I am grateful for your service. I am grateful that you've left your mama and your daddy, that you've left your husbands and your wives to make sure that we are covered and protected. You will never ever hear me diss the military. Not ever one time. Never. And it is an abomination for you to do so as well. Now as far as sending your children into that environment after you've taught your children about consciousness you are then teaching your children to become liars because they cannot pledge allegiance to a flag that represents their death. They can't do it. Not if you've lived an example in front of them and you've been an example of consciousness in front of that child. They simply will not be able to do it. They will be double-minded. A double-minded man or woman is unstable in all their ways. Most of our children are not geared and are not mentally able to sit up and shoot another child in the head. Some of the things that our military people that currently are in there are having to experience. So I need us to deal in respect for those who have 
made the decision to protect us. Deal in respect. Understand what you're dealing with. If the military was not there, who do you believe is going to protect you? You really think you got it like that because you got all of your nines and all of that and you have the type of skill set to really protect yourself like that? No, you don't. No, you don't. So I just wanted to address that because I was shocked at some of the leaders of our community that were jumping on board with that type of disrespect. And I wanted to be clear as to what the position of the sacred medicine woman mystery school is. We don't diss the, the, the military ever. We don't diss the military ever. We do send care packages out because we do care about them. My students that are getting ready to become ascended masters, they will be trained on how to help military members when they come back. See, I lived in North Carolina when many of the soldiers came back at Fort Bragg and six of them shot their wives and their children. I lived in North Carolina at that time and I understand just how serious this matter is. This is not a game. This is not a game on any level and people are dying. Please understand that. D. Marie, what you want to do is get yourself several readings about your child wanting to go into the military and you being a conscious woman. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you not to do it. What I'm telling you is that if you've raised your child in, as a conscious American, where the concern is going to come in is that they are not going to be able to pledge allegiance to that flag. They will not be able to sing the Star Spangled Banner because it relates to the death of our ancestors. They simply won't be able to do it. And so instead of setting our children up for failure, set them up for success. Many of our parents and grandparents went into the military because they could not afford college. So they went into the military and the military paid for college for them. We have other options now where we don't have to do the military route. So that was pretty much it. I've got quite a few things that I need to go back and have some conversations with. My head is covered again because I'm going through yet another elevation and apparently some people get real comfortable with me when I have my hair down. So I've had to recrown so that there is clarity that the queen is still on the throne and that there will be no dethroning ever. So I'm excited about the growth that I'm continuing to see. I'm so excited about seeing our brothers People thought that I was showing a picture of our brothers sitting up playing spades. But if you go and you look at the cards that are in that brother's hands, baby, those are tarot cards. Those are our wise men. Those are the wise men that build their houses, not the foolish that tear it down with their own hands. So I give thanks and praise for your time. I am grateful for our military members that protect us. We will continue to send care packages to them as they continue to put their lives on the line to protect us. We will continue every Memorial Day. We will continue every Veterans Day to pay homage to them. I have for the past few years and I don't advertise it all on Facebook, but we feed veterans on those days and we do it with pride because we're grateful many of them come back here extremely damaged protecting our freedom I'm not twisted at all about what the policies are and what the purposes are and the sinister plots thereof I'm so clear but I also know that each of them are individuals I also do counseling 
for the mothers and fathers that are left behind, whose children get sent back to them in a box and they can't even open the box because the children's bodies are so mangled and deformed from their death. So before another conscious person puts up another post dissing our military, I want you to consider that somebody's mama, somebody's daddy, somebody's son, somebody's daughter is the reason that you're able to ride around and drive around in this country without fearing a bullet being put in your head at any time. So keep that in mind as well as our police officers and our state troopers. Just imagine if there were no police officers and state troopers that look like us and because they're conscious, they don't do it. Many of my clients are Atlanta Police Department and that is because they are conscious, but they are also watching our backs to keep us alive. So I thank you for your service. I salute your service. I give you a Queen's salute. So we got great things that'll be going on soon. You'll be hearing from Queen Neat very soon on several amazing things. We will be doing Nasi and the Queen. Nasi got called into work tonight. But we're going to be dealing with many issues that we're not dealing with that are making us dysfunctional. We will be dealing with honor, your, not honor, but forgive your mother and father that your days may be long upon the earth. Forgive your mother and father that your days may be long upon the earth. And so it's a beautiful thing. Most people don't understand because I got a lot of heat when I posted that, that myself and my Hebrew Israelite brother, who was one of my former teachers, were gonna do a show together where we weren't gonna be debating. And it was interesting, many of the brothers told me that I was selling out because I was willing to do a radio show with a Hebrew Israelite. And I told them that that was unfortunate that they were apparently not familiar with who I am as a queen. I was a Hebrew Israelite for eight years. I have been and am still a Muslima. And I was a Christian minister before that. So you may see me do a video with a little bit of anybody. As long as they are upright and reputable, as long as they walk circumspectly before the Most High, as long as they are not hurting and harming the community, I don't really care who they worship or what they believe. But the issues that we have are going across the board. The damage that has been done to us as a people, I don't care what you identify yourself as, that damage is still there. And we are intermingling our damage, our hurt, and our pain. And so in us intermingling the damage, the hurt, and the pain, we are continuously harming one another, no matter what the belief system is. So anytime I can come together with my brothers and we cause no harm, and we cause harmony to come forth, I'm going to take the opportunity. And for the brothers that felt like they needed to unfriend me because I didn't get permission, <laughs> as long as this finger is empty, I don't need to ask any brother's permission as to who I do any type of healing or reconciliation work with. I am a queen. I operate in my autonomy. I have nine elders that I report to and none of them have had a problem with it. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful. You're gonna see several videos going up very soon because we got things we gotta handle. We got things we've got to correct. And if nobody speaks on it, we're gonna continue to do things incorrectly. 
you better best believe that brother and I are going to be doing polygamy versus polynigamy. And he is a polygamist. And we're going to do that one. I'm going to teach that one as though I'm never going to be able to teach again. Because things have to be addressed so we stop hurting and harming one another. So I thank you for your time. I am over the moon with excitement. Shimmy M. Hatepoo.